to solve the diagram equation, let's look at the right side number first. You can check. 7 is a factor of 2009. Actually, the prime factorization of 2009 is 7 times 7 times 41. Or you can write as 7 squared times 41. At this point, I just wonder if A and B are both multiples of 2009. To see that, let's divide A by 7. So we can write A as 7 times a integer n if the remainder is 0. If the remainder is 1, so we can write a 7n plus 1. Similarly, 7n plus 2, 7n plus 3. Then the remainder is 4, so we can write A as 7 times k plus 4. But we can write a 7k plus 7 minus 3. So we can change that to 7 times k plus 1 minus 3. You can view that as m, so 7m minus 3. So we can write the situation where the remainder is 4 is 7m minus 3. Similarly, when the remainder is 5, you can write as 7m minus 2. When the remainder is 6, you can write the situation as 7m minus 1. Now, let's calculate a squared. So a squared equals 49m squared, right? The square this one will be 49m squared plus 2ab, so be plus minus 2ab, so be 14m plus 1. Square this one, so we get 49m squared plus minus 2ab, so we 28m plus 4. The square of this one will be 49m squared 2ab, so it would be uh, 21, uh, 42, yeah, plus minus 42m plus 9, but we can write 9 as uh, 7 plus 2. So you see that is divisible by 7. This part is divisible by 7, divisible by 7, divisible by 7. So the remainder of a squared divided by 7 would be right here, would be 0, 1, 4, 2, right? Similarly, when b is div divided by 7, we can write as b equals 7 times the integer if the remainder is 0. Similarly, 7n plus 1 plus or minus 1, 7n plus or minus 2, 7n plus or minus 3. So b squared right, equals 49n squared. Similarly, I don't want to waste time. So you see when b squared divided by 7, the remainder we write R2 would be 0, 1, 4, 2 again. But you can see the sum of a squared and b squared should be a multiple 7, or you can write this one. 7 divides a squared plus b squared. So the only possible way to make the sum be multiple of seven would be A must be multiple seven, B must be multiple seven. You can try other cases. See, four plus four, eight, so remain as one. Four and two, six, remain as six, not two. Anyway, so you see the only possible uh, situation would be a is multiple 7, so I can write a as 7 times n, b equals 7 times n. Then we can plug in the given equation. So a squared, so 49m squared plus n, uh, b squared, so we 49n squared equals 2009 
is 7 squared times 41. So both sides divided by uh, 49. So we get m squared plus n squared equals 41. In this case, it is much simpler for us to figure out the value of m or n. So you can try m squared equals 1 squared 1, 2 squared 4, 3 squared 9, 4 squared 16, 5 squared 25, 6 squared 36, no more because 7 squared 49 greater than 41. So the corresponding value for n squared would be because the sum equals 41, right? So n squared should be 40, and then 37, and then 32, and then 25, and then 16, and then 5. So you see only these two pair are perfect square, right? Because m and n must be integer. So the only solution would be m squared equals 16, then n squared must be 25, or m squared equals six, uh, 25, then n squared equals 16. So we can get m equals 4, n equals 5. So we know a is 7 times m, so the a equals 28, b equals 7 times n, so it'll be 35. Similarly, m equals 5, n equals 4, so a would be 35, b would be 28. So we only get two solutions to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.